So this is the time where the Lord was teaching that we ought to use our body for God's glory. In fact, let me start it uh, from verse 18. So run away from sexual sin. Every other sin people do outside their bodies. But those who sin sexually sin against their own bodies. Verse 19, you should know that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit who is in you. You have received the Holy Spirit from God, so you do not belong to yourselves. Because you were bought by God for a price, so honor God with your bodies. He was teaching the Israelites that you ought to, on, to, to honor your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was teaching the Christians how they ought to, 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 to be, to, 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 to understand that once the Holy Spirit indwells you, you are no longer in charge of your body, but the Spirit, Spirit, Spirit is in charge. He now owns you. Hallelujah. You cease to exist. So any defilement or pollution that happens in your body, you ought to make sure that you do spiritual purging so that the Holy Spirit may dwell in your body freely without interference. Hallelujah. So that our change, the attribute, our attributes and our character is of Christ. But it cannot be of Christ if we have some affliction and, and defilement and pollution that is inside of our bodies. Hallelujah. And then there's First John chapter 1. Verse 9. 1 John chapter 1. Verse 9. But if we confess our sins, he will forgive of our sins because we can trust God to do what is right. Hallelujah. He will cleanse us from all wrongs we have done. If we say we have not sinned, we make God a lie and we do not accept God's teachings. He says God is forgiving us. He's a God of who forgives sins. Hallelujah. So we need to go into repentance when we are doing spiritual purging. You cannot do spiritual purging without embarking into repentance. You declare the scripture, Psalms 51, uh, verse 7 is talking about that cleansing. But you read the whole chapter. Hallelujah. You declare it so that the Lord can cleanse you. 